Good evening everybody, this is Chris Lightness with MobilitySite.com Just got the Garmin Mobile 10 Bluetooth GPS unit and software in the mail today and we're going to go ahead and unbox it, install it, and see how it works on the Trio 750 When I was asked if I wanted to take a look at this, I was kind of excited because uh, Garmin makes some great, um, some great standalone units. Uh, never really thought about them doing a Bluetooth GPS until now. So wow, this is a small little unit here. We got we got a belt clip, a car charger, USB to cigarette lighter outlet. Do we call it a cigarette lighter outlet anymore? I'm thinking this is going to be a battery. It's taped shut good enough. Wow. The struggle. That is a battery. 1100 milliamp hours. Better than most of our phones. And here's the unit itself. That is a very small receiver. Look at that little thing. Got a USB charging port right there. Little rubber feet to keep it from moving around. Very nice. Very nice. If we have battery juice right now, I am going to go ahead and go right away into uh, checking it out and seeing if we can get a fix right away without any delay. So anyway, there we go, we got the battery cover out. And let's pop that battery in here. I might not understand just how small this thing is. This is a pretty minus mi miniature here. Let's uh, show you next to a blackjack how small this. That's a pretty small unit there, and it's pretty thin too. Not much thicker than the blackjack. So, let's check it out. Okay, so I put the. Uh, Garmin Mobile XT City Navigator North America version 8 software into the computer and we're going to place the software and maps on the Palm Trio 750. It says install, choose this option to install Garmin Mobile XT software to your mobile device. And we did. Windows Mobile Storage Card. Uh, it recommends uh, the boxes that it recommends 128 megabytes of available storage or two gig for full nationwide coverage so I've selected Windows Mobile Storage Card install copying files please wait 1% 2% 3% so while we're waiting on that um, I don't know how long it's going to hold up. Uh, the instructions, I pulled those out. Uh, it says, say, go ahead and put the battery in, which I did, and to charge it. So it probably doesn't have much juice. I'm going to leave it off, but to turn it on, you've got a Bluetooth indicator there and a power indicator there. And I just hold it down for just a second, and now it's pulling for Bluetooth. The uh, power indicator, I would assume, won't come into play until we get low on battery or whatnot. So anyway we're gonna go ahead and turn it back off until we're ready to go. From what I understand this device 
is supposed to have one of the quickest fixes of any Bluetooth GPS around right now. So we're at 30%, so I'm going to cut away for just a moment, let it get closer to being finished, and come right back in. Right, I'm back in here now. Uh, we're almost through with the installation, but I decided to jump over here to buygpsnow.com and check the compatibility with devices. I don't know for sure that the Trio 750 is even supported. I can't see why it wouldn't be, but we're going to check it out. Please check Garmin website for product compatibility. So it's bringing up Garmin's website. Let's see where we're at. 73%. Alright, phone model. We got the SMT5600, IPAC6515, all the singular 3125, 8525. I made Smart Flip, Motorola MPX220. I'm sure this is going to support the Palm Trio. Here we go. Palm Trio 650, 700P, 700W. I guess that they haven't got the 750 in since it's so new. T Mobile Dash, Singular Blackjack, was that on here? Blackberry, Samsung Blackjack, yeah, so, you know, basically any device you've got should be compat compatible, but make sure you check their website just to be sure. Let's close that out and see where we're at. 92%, so we're just about done. I'll read you a little bit of the literature on this thing. Minimum PC requirements, I hope that everybody can pass these because they're not very stringent. Not a lot to read there. Okay, now we're through here. Now it is time to establish connection between your mobile device and your Garmin GPS. Remove and insert the storage card if the Gar if Garmin Mobile XT is not already running on your device. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out of its cradle. Yes, I want to install it. take a minute here. Installation was complete successful. Do you want to run Garmin Mobile XT? Yes I do. Garmin Mobile XT. I hope y'all can see that okay. Alright so it's running. You may need to have your GPS plugged into power and be 30 feet from your mobile device. Follow the prompts. Okay, so we're going to turn the receiver on. Now I'm going to set that up on the side here. Now it's giving me a warning screen here. Information, blah, blah, blah. Agree. We always want to agree to this, huh? It's like voice language. I think English American will be fine for us. This might be a little better served if I use the stylus. Select units. I don't. Let's just go statute here. Let me get this adjusted a little better. Next. Garmin Online. Access, live traffic, weather, etc. Prompted, disabled, or always. Let's go prompted. That seemed to be the default. There we go. And there is an indicator there already. Let's view map. Ready to navigate. I wonder if it's already got a fix here. Okay, we're going to zoom in here. Never used, I hadn't even used this yet, so <laughs> bear with me. If somebody has actually used a Garmin GPS standalone unit in the past, this might be second nature, but let's see here. I really don't know exactly where I'm going here. I'm just, that's push pin shows us where we are, I'm assuming information north 33 west 87 that sounds about where I'm at so it's already got a fix 
I just turned this thing on, what, a minute ago, and we've already got a fix, it looks like. Okay, I decided to go ahead and readjust the camera here so I can give you a little more steady look at the device. It's uh, still hooked up there. The um, thing that I find that was kind of interesting is I've never used this before. Pulled it out of the box, installed the software. I haven't used a Bluetooth GPS besides the uh, uh, the Pharos GPS that I got a few years ago in a long time. I've used it recently, but it's a you have to set it up. You have to put the the um, passcode in and all this, that, and the other. And this didn't even ask me for any of that. So GPS is off. Scanning Bluetooth. It just timed out and closed our connection. So, but what was interesting is right out of the box, put the software on it, and boom, it synced up there. Our indicator just showed on the uh, on the uh, map. It says ready to navigate. So we can go here. Uh, view map. That's where we were just at. And let's let's look a little closer here. Let's see how how good this looks. I don't think we actually installed the maps though. So it's probably not going to show us a lot. Not my street and all that, which I don't really care to see, but it's it's showing me in Alabama where I'm at. So let's look at some of the tools and options and so forth. Garmin Online, you can navigate with your D-pad, or you can use your mouse or your uh, stylus. Peer points, route details, browse map. Where am I? That's where I'm at. So you you saw how fast that established a connection. That is that's amazing. <laughs> Let's go here. Let's go to settings, map settings. You've got all these different options that you can set it up for. Back routing system, distance speed. We set that on the default. If you remember seeing that. Display, color mode, keyboards, audio, voice, American English, voice prompt enable, Garmin Online again, proximity points, restore defaults about. There we go. So we can uh, see here, let's find food. I don't know that this is going to actually have anything here. Because we have not my locations. Garmin in Europe, Taiwan, my location. Calculating route. Ready to navigate. Arriving at destination. I'm already here. I'm nine foot from my location. So anyway, there's not a lot I can show you without getting on the road, and we're not going to do that right now. But you saw how fast that this device synced up with the Palm Trio 750 here. And, I mean, 20 minutes in and out. We're ready to go on the road.